Hi guys, it's Jen again. Um, I I find it funny that, you know, the videos that I post that I think nobody's going to want to hear that or nobody cares, or, they, they seem to be the videos that um, I get the most comments on, that get the most views, that um, I get the most private messages about, um, and they're always personal, so um, I thought maybe... I should share a little bit more. I have some crazy stories. Um, it's funny, this channel started out as just a place to house old King family clips for my family and my kids. And and um, I wanted to be an editor when I grew up. And so, you know, I would tell stories. I started telling stories and editing projects just kind of for myself. And it's just sort of grown from there. Um, but we keep adding things. And if you just want to... Uh, if you only care about the cookbook then there's a playlist up at the top you can click on and it'll show you all the playlists that I have so if you just want to look at recipes you can just look at recipes if you just want to watch Old King Family you can watch Old King Family um, if you want to listen to me ramble you can listen to me ramble so um, that's kind of how my my channel started and how it works <laughs> but um, I got so many responses to my my last little clip on loneliness and so many private messages about it um and people have always asked me about my divorce and and what happened there and um i really kind of don't love talking about it because it's it's not fun they're not good memories and um and my story is so not your average story but um so many people have mentioned that me sharing some of my things has helped them, and so I figured maybe I would share a little bit with you guys. Um, you know, in the last few years, there's been a phrase that's popped up called gaslighting, and uh, when I went through my divorce, it, it didn't really exist, or I wasn't aware of it, and um, within the last few years, you see it everywhere, gaslighting, gaslighting. Well, a friend of mine who's a psychologist had posted it, an article on gaslighting and I clicked on it and started reading it and my jaw hit the floor. I was like, oh my gosh, that's, I've totally lived that. <laughs> and um, it's, it's something that if you're in it, if you're living it, it's pretty horrible. It makes you question yourself. Um, and basically what it is, is when you are married to someone or in a relationship with someone and, and they're not doing something right or being completely honest and, and you question them about it, they will do this thing that makes you think like you're crazy. They'll flip it and turn it around on you. And um, my ex had, we were married for 14 years. The first 10 years were great. He was a sweet dad. He was a good man. And, and I... I honestly couldn't tell you, and I still don't know the whole story, um, what triggered things. Uh, we had moved to Utah, that's that's the big difference, was that we had moved, but somehow he developed a gambling addiction and couldn't hold down a job and started lying to cover up stuff, and it just snowballed. And um, so the gaslighting was, it was pretty bad. And... Um, he would tell me something, you know, oh, I'm supposed to get paid on Friday. And uh, he had also, he was basically living a, a double life. He had told us that he worked uh, as an accountant for Rocky Mountain Power, which never happened. He never had that job and it, it, crazy, crazy things. But um, so we were like in dire straits, need, you know, financially just in the toilet. And our house was close to being lost. And my crappy little floral paycheck was the only thing that was holding us together and so he would tell me that oh I'm supposed to get paid on Friday and so Friday would come and you know you have to kind of be careful in that situation I would kind of wait and quietly go um so did you get paid um and he'd say I never said I was getting paid and I'd go yeah you did I swear you did no I didn't say that you're just hearing what you want to hear and at first, you're kind of like, no, no, that's not what happened at all. You said. But after years of that, you start wondering, is it me? Am I really just hearing what I want to hear? And, and you start thinking that you're the crazy one, that you're the one causing problems, that, that you're just seeing it the way you want to see it, and that you're the problem. 
Um, when in reality, you're the one that's holding down a job. You're the reason the family has health insurance, <laughs> you know, and he really is telling you all of these things and then backpedaling so that he doesn't have to own up to it. Um, and it's really horrible to be there. It's, it's, it takes away from your self-esteem and, and you really start to question things. Um, and so if any of you are out there going through something like that, um, and you're wondering, oh my gosh, is it me? Um, I started keeping a journal and I would write down when he would tell me things so that I could go back and go, mm, no, you did say, you said this. Um, but it's an unhealthy place to be. And we tried to get, you know, we went to the 12-step recovery program for him. We tried so many things. And um, I finally just knew that nothing was going to, nothing was going to get better. Um, and I couldn't keep living like that. And I didn't want to keep living like that. And I didn't want my kids to think that it was okay to keep living like that. And, and so that's a small part of my story um, but if it's something that you're living through apparently it's very common it's not something that I had ever in my life um, been through and and it was really hard for me and went on really long because we had had 10 good years and I, I just thought he wouldn't do that to me we, you know I've known him for so long and so if you're dealing with it um, it's horrible and I'm sorry and it, it may get better and it might not get better um, and if it started right out of the gate then probably should run um, and it can start not right out of the gate it can start years later when something goes wrong um, but just know that you're not the only one going through it if you need to get help if I, I never I was lucky I never had to deal with violence um, there was a time when I started getting scared uh, but never had to deal with it. Uh, if you're in a violent situation, definitely there's something that needs to be done. But um, this comment came from a very personal question that someone asked me and I figured I would share. Um, not something I ever thought I would experience or live through or ever even expected. Uh, I've been treated, I grew up pretty well and so I just didn't see it coming. Um, but just know you're not alone. So gaslighting 101. <laughs> it's a horrible topic and I'm sorry, but maybe someone out there will um, need it. So have a great day. We'll see you soon.